you know, I feel like we've all, if, if you're familiar with The Witcher, I've seen Geralt of Rivera. I was like, I would want to be a Witcher. But after I seen and heard what they do, or the process they have to survive, I was like, no. Now, I'm not that familiar with it anymore, but I do remember they just went through a grueling process like to become a Witcher. They're, you know, the, the, I think because of all of the things they sustain during becoming the Witcher, they become like void of emotions or anything like that. But every other sense is heightened, right? Look, so we got this dope video from Lore Tours that popped up in my algorithm a bit ago that I was going to make a video on. So shout out to Lore Tours if you want me to take out my video, I do not mind. But how to become a Witcher? I don't know if there's any melanated Witchers, but I'm going to watch this video and find out if I could be one of them. Uh, but let me know down below if you could be a witcher. If you feel like you could go through what they go through. I don't even know everything. But yeah. Other than that, I think I already said Lord Tori. If you want me to take down my video, I do not mind. Um, you guys, remember to authentically be yourself. Love yourself. Spread love. And if you guys got any other videos you want me to watch or commentary videos to make on anything, like I just do about it all. I just have fun with this. Love connecting with you guys. Um, send it to me. Send it to me in DMs and any of that. That's, that's pretty much my message. Other than that, let's hop into this video, how to become a witcher, and see if I can become a witcher. All right, let's go. Before I even begin, do you guys ever have that moment where you find a video that like you really, really enjoy, and you just immediately go straight to the comments? I did that. I didn't spoil much for myself, but I went immediately to the comments, and funniest thing that my, my my eyes immediately adjusted to was someone said why are there so few views this must have been when it was first uploaded and said this is the best tutorial on youtube <laughs> i don't know that just made me chuckle bro do you think you would make a good witcher if you answered yes to that question i'd like to introduce you to a little something called the witcher trials the witcher trials see for me i, I think in this universe i'd be like a good are are most of the mages women though or is there other magical beings in this universe? Because if so, I feel like I'd probably fit in one of those rather than being a witcher. A horrifying set of tests and experiments that disfigure, dismember, and just in general, aren't that fun an experience. But if you were to make it through these trials, you would gain training and supernatural abilities unobtainable to the average person. So if your mind is set on your new Witcher career path, and you wish to go ahead with the grisly trials you're about to face, let me first detail what these horrifying trials are and how you would be best placed to pass them. So let's- I'm gonna speed it up a little bit for y'all. Let's imagine you're a young boy or girl living in a small village somewhere within one of the many kingdoms that make up the continent. When one day a grizzled warrior monk wielding two swords comes and whisks you away, either as part of a deal with your parents or just rescuing you from your life as a street urchin. After weeks of travel, you arrive at one of a number of keeps housing a band of monster hunters known as witches. You look around and spot a group of other children. These are your classmates. And together, you are about to undergo the Witcher Trials, a series of training, tests, and experiments aimed to both serve as a very stringent selection process and a way of transforming regular human children into superhuman lethal monster hunters. But these trials are not easy, as attested to by the mangled bodies and twisted faces of the previous Witcher initiates you see around. Oh my gosh, dude is missing an arm. Around you. Luckily for you. Do not all the witchers' hair go white? Is it just some of them? Or because I've noticed that like some of the witchers just be like normal, like well not normal, because they're not normal, but uh some of the witchers in from what I remember from the animated series. I don't know about the game, can't remember. But there's people there's there's ones that don't have the altered white hair and stuff, right, too. So you, before you were subjected to the deadly trials to come, you were initiated as a Witcher Apprentice and undergo the first part of your training. This stage of your journey is known as the Choice. As an apprentice, you will train for years, learning how to wield weapons, cast basic magical combat signs, take lessons in both monster lore and the ways of alchemy, enabling you to brew your own potions and poison. Oh man, that is an alchemist. Look at how his face is twisted. 
He mixed the wrong herbs. Reasons. You'll also be tasked with making changes to your diet and lifestyle that are required to become a witcher. These changes mostly involve a diet consisting of mushrooms, mosses, and herbs, combined with regular grueling physical training. Now, even at this stage, as a basic witcher apprentice, you're already a pretty powerful warrior, more than capable of handling most human threats. So you don't really want to progress any further with these grisly witcher trials, do you? You do? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Once you have completed Okay, okay, so the, the trial of the grasses. Okay, so you can become a witcher. So that's it. So like you can get brought in as a witcher, go through the training and everything, and you're you're trained to handle most like human threats. You don't have to go further. It's not like you have a choice, you don't have to go further. Because he said I didn't don't don't say I didn't warn you. Your initial training as an apprentice, you will then be presented with the choice as oh, to whether you want to okay. continue on and become a full witcher. If you accept this path, you progress on to the infamous Trial of the Grasses. Yeah, I'm gonna stop there. That's it, I'm gonna stop there. So, yes, I would become a witcher, probably not have the abilities to take on most of the monsters. We'd probably get wiped out without having the abilities that come with the Trials of the Grasses, but I'm good. And it's a real pain in the grass. It basically involves exposing the subjects to a mixture of dangerous chemicals yeah, and alchemical ingredients known as grasses, designed to break down the body and build it back stronger via the use of mutagens and herbs. Oh. This process will last about a week, and to begin with, you'll be served a small portion of these grasses via tea. Sounds nice, right? Wrong because then you're going to be strapped down to a table and subjected to the nasty part of this trial. Yep, as well as immobilized on the table, you'll have elixirs injected directly into your veins. As the days oh. progress, madness will begin to set in. Your eyes will glass over, and you'll be plagued by both coughing and excruciating pain. Then Ooh. the second dose of elixirs will be administered, and your coughing will turn into vomiting, followed by the breakout of constant cold sweats. Should you make it to day seven, which is unlikely as no more than four in ten subjects do, you'll awake anew, seeing the world through your newly acquired cat-like eyes. After a few more days of processing the trauma of the ritual you've just endured, you'll begin to notice more of your awakened abilities, including lightning-quick reflexes, slower aging, increased physical strength, as well as sharpened senses. But what advice can I offer you to help you survive this torture? Well, to begin Damn, I... <laughs> I'm over here thinking like, wait, maybe I do have a chance, but then maybe I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't want to be subject to that, so never mind put directly in your veins obviously when i watch the animated that's very obvious they make that very very obvious in the scenes that you watch that it's grueling and horrible in with you better have paid attention in alchemy class as you'll be the one gathering the alchemical ingredients that will form oh. the grasses injected into you if you harvest the wrong ingredient or one of insufficient quality you could make your transformation much more painful or even fatal you should oh. also only partake in the trial of the grasses if you are a fit young adult as at a younger age the body is much more receptive to the mutagens that will be altering your body one which also claimed that it was only his anger towards those conducting the trial on him that allowed him to survive the transformation so a hate-fueled <sighs> determination could help i guess should you pass the trial well, yeah because you would will it you would like you would basically yeah i mean that that's like simple consciousness stuff like being so hate fuel it's like it's like that saying they say about certain people where it's like they actually said this <laughs> i'm just gonna drop the lord they said this about my grandma but that she was she was an italian woman caucasian no, i'm sorry i gotta throw that out there because maybe if you think grandma and see this random black guy on the internet just joking, mixed families exist. But uh, she's this amazing Italian woman. I love my grandma so much. And a lot of people did love her, but her own kids and maybe certain people, if you got on her bad side, they would say that she was too angry to die. <laughs> Trial of the Grasses, next up is the Trial of Dreams, which is rumored to involve a number of psychedelic visions induced by druids. And this trial is meant to further enhance a witch's night vision whilst also sterilizing them. The only real reference I could find, however, for this trial comes from the early 2000s Hexafoot. I'm going through the Trial of the Dreams every night in real life, so sign me up. I think I would just go through this. Uh, can you do the other trials before the grasses? Could like will you be subject to just film and tv series so you can probably ignore this trial if you wish and just assume the night vision and barren loins are a result of the trial of the grasses anyway let's move on to the final trial you've done it you've reached the trial of the mountains your final test well done you also known as the trial of the medallion 
it is unlike the previous trials, as this one will be more of a test of your knowledge, training and skills than in the previous tasks. This test involves surviving in the dangerous monster-filled mountains surrounding the Witcher Keep in which you've been trained. To pass this final oh. test, you must put into practice your enhanced Witcher abilities and training in combat, alchemy and monster lore to overcome whatever monsters you may face. So you better have paid attention during your training. And now we move on to the Trial of the Sword. Oh, you thought you were done? Understandable, as I just told you that was your final trial. But no. In some cases, even if you were one of the very few witches to actually pass all your previous trials, one of the master witches may doubt at the last minute your worthiness of becoming a fully-fledged witcher. If you were to be challenged like this, you will be tasked with proving your worth, either by defeating a monster of the master's choosing, or maybe even another witcher. Now whilst those are the main trials you'll face on your journey to become a witcher, there are also a few variations and additional tests you may face based on which witcher school you're a part of. Witcher schools are basically the specific faction of witches you belong to, each school having split off from the original witcher order hundreds of years ago. And these schools each have their own unique mindsets, headquarters, ways of fighting, and crucially for you, methods of training. Now we don't know much about the mysterious witcher schools of the Crane or the Manticore, but if you were to join the Griffin school, known for its heavy use of magic, your final trial would be a choice between memorizing and reciting the entire Book of Shadows, or venturing out to a Griffin's nest and stealing an egg. The Cat School, located within their own travelling caravan, is one of the few witcher schools still training women and non-pure-blood humans. If you were to join this school, your final trial would test your speed and agility by having you gradually walking higher and higher on a tightrope without falling to your demise. Similar to the cats, the Viper School also prioritizes agility. However, if you were to become one of these Vipers, to prepare you for a life as one of this school's cold- Let me guess, they would put various poisons into your body or Viper venom and stuff, like, like snake venom and stuff like that, almost like the ninjutsu type of training where you like gradually make your body more immune to poisons. I, I don't know, I'm just calling that right now. By the way, the other school seems horrible. For me, I don't think memorization is that bad for like the magic school, the raven one, but I would rather do the raven one because like I said, I'd feel like I'd be well, better versed in magic if I was in this type of universe. But then memorizing the entire book of shadows sounds insane. Whereas like, are you reciting the book too? I would go with the other thing to just steal the ravens. I, I don't know how hard that is though called Shady Assassins, your final trial would require you to slaughter a pet given to you at the beginning of your training. Pretty oh, grim, if you were chosen by the dark. brooding loners of the Bear School. The final trial would involve ascending the formidable Mount Gorgon, past the frozen bodies of your failed fellow brothers to retrieve a runestone. And finally, if you were to join the School of the Wolf, and you for whatever reason were completing your training away from their home at Kaer Morhen, you would instead face the Trial of the Forest Eyes as your final exam. In this trial, you would be taken out into the woods, blindfolded and tied up, so make sure to practice honing in your senses, as you have to rely on them now to return back to your instructor by morning to pass the trial. If you showed particular promise throughout the aforementioned trials, the Master Witches may subject you to additional, even more experimental trials. The only Witcher to face these trials and pass, however, was Geralt of Rivia, gaining superior abilities and striking white hair as a result. If you've made it this far and completed all of your trials, then congratulations, you're now a fully-fledged Witcher. Your reward is an existence of risking your life killing dangerous monsters for people who both fear and hate you. Aren't you a lucky Witcher? Ah well, at least you can seek solace in the kinship of your fellow Witcher inductees. Oh, what's that? Most of them died during the Witcher Trials. And you're also now the last of a dying breed, as those with the knowledge to conduct the Witcher Trials have all been slain. The double swords look cool at least. Do you think you could pass the Witcher Trials? If so, what school would you join? I like that. Screw your Hogwarts house. What's your Witcher school? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to what's your, what's your Witcher school? subscribe and hit the bell icon for more lore. Catch you next time. Dude, that's insane. Hang on. Witcher schools still training women and non-pure blood humans. If you were see non-pure blood humans i almost want to be in that i feel like in the universe in universe i would be some type of mix with something else man the cat school located within their own traveling caravan is one of the few witcher schools still training women cats. and non-pure blood humans if you were to join this school your final trial would test your speed and agility by having you gradually walking higher and higher on a tightrope without falling to your demise similar to the cats the viper school also prioritizes agility 
However, if you were to become one of these vipers, to prepare you for a life as one of this school's cold, shady assassins, your final trial would require you to slaughter a pet given to you at the beginning of your training. Pretty grim. If you were yeah, that that would that would kill me. So it'd be like the viper, because I'm trying to keep it fair to where I have to still go through some grueling thing and I don't just take the easy way out. That'd be pretty tough for me, man. I I get attached to my, like a pet, so that that would that would probably cook me. And also the tight thing school. is pretty tough too. No trial would be a choice between memorizing and reciting the entire book of Shadow known for its heavy use of magic. Your final trial would be a choice between memorizing and reciting the entire book of shadows or venturing out to a griffin's nest and stealing an egg. The I'm going to take I'm going to take my chances. It was a griffin, not a raven. It was a griffin. Okay. Okay. In the Witcher universe, I don't remember if I've seen like the griffins, but they're insane. Well, in in actual fantasy stuff, griffins are huge, aren't they? Griffin, let me see. Griffin. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, they got the body of like a fucking they look like a yeah. They look like a lion. They got the like head of an eagle. Oh my gosh, a griffin. I'll take my chances with that. Probably get torn to shreds, but I'll do I'll either do that because I feel like I'd be more of a magic orientated witcher. Or I'll take I'll take the cat or the viper to be honest with you, the viper seems the easy way out having to slaughter a pet from the beginning. But honestly, that would be hard for somebody who really enjoys pets. So I kind of gotta I I kind of feel like that's the easy way out for me. So I think the tightrope, the cat, school of the cat, and Griffin would be me. And that's crazy. So Geralt was the one who Geralt basically what it sounds like Geralt went through is surviving. Every trial ever possibly given to a witcher. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe not because the, the tightrope and stuff, but at least he survived the extracurricular BS <laughs> that he had to go through, uh, you know, during, uh, in the, uh, what is it? School of the Wolf? Is it, Are they the wolf? The aforementioned trials, the master witches may subject you to additional, even more experimental trials. The only witch yeah, the experimental trials. to face these trials and pass, however, was Geralt of Rivia. Gaining yeah, Geralt survived the experimental ones. That's why I said the extracurricular BS ones. Anyways, much love in Moonlight. I think I would definitely... See, so now I know. I think I could survive the training, but I'd have to be in the different schools, and I wouldn't take the trial of the grasses. I'm just not doing that. So there are brothers in the witchers, I'm assuming. <laughs> brothers. Ah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how legendary I'd become. I, I would focus my talents on trying to become, like, super masterful either in stealth, stealth missions, grow my name like that in the universe, or just grow it in terms of magic. I feel like magic has to do with the soul and the spirit and everything like that, and I feel like my soul is pretty indomitable, so I feel like I'd be pretty cracked out as a mage. Anyways, other than that, much of Moonlight, I'm out of here. <laughs>